The train used to come down to the quay that time, used it? And it would bring the turf, the wagon of turf, in from, he came in from Lutherburg. And that was the turf that kept the train going to Dublin. Oh, they put, they, they used the turf on it, was it? Not yes. coal? I think a very odd bag of coal was bought. Oh, okay, so it was, it was fuel from the bog? From the bog. It came in from Lutherburg. And how often would they come down the quay, or were they going up and down all the time? Oh, they were going up and down. And what were they doing down the quay mostly? What were they collecting? Seaweed. Seaweed? But they're putting seaweed on the train, yeah? Pardon? Did they put seaweed on the train? In some. In some, okay. And what did you know what else they would... Uh, there were no passengers, no passengers down there, no? There was, a, I believe, a train used to come on a Sunday and go down the quay and leave them to get their beds. And they're waiting to come back at a certain point. You know where the tower bear is? Yeah. Down that, that bit down to the quay. Mm. And uh, there would be an excursion down to the Bath Hotel then, obviously. They'd walked in the rest of the They'd way. Walk the rest, yeah. To the Bath Hotel. Did you, did you ever see the message or were you told that? Yes. Did you see them? I going? saw it happening. You saw it happening, yeah. But the railway track, you went down into the quay itself, didn't it? The track. It did. And you used the train go down there as well, it would? The train would go down. Yeah. They were mostly goods trains, were they? Yes. Who was driving them at the time, can you remember? No. They'd never come in for a pint, like, would they? Oh, they didn't, they didn't touch a drink with the road driving. <laughs> They'd be fired as well. They'd be fired on the spot. I don't think it was mm. Two of the men are going to the court with the glasses on the end. Was there a grocery shop on the quay? My aunt had the bear and grocery. Oh, they were all in together, eh? Yeah? Had a council this side for the bear and a council this side for the groceries. Okay, right there. Was there a big shop? It's where the tall. the. what's the name of it now? No. The Keys Pub. The Key Pub. Yes. Keys Pub. Uh, Keys Keys Pub, yeah. That's where it is. Oh, it's a fairly big pub, yeah. <laughs> so you set up a little shop of your own then up in the higher up in the key the key road? On Buffin Street. On Buffin Street, yeah. When did you set that up? Well I had nothing else to live on. Yeah. And it was the first I was the first person to put a shop there. And there was eighteen houses in that street. Yeah. And it saved every people, every people at that time. They'd be standing in the door seeing someone going to town to bring them the loaf of bread. And when I opened the shop, they came to me. And did you make a living of it? I certainly did. Yeah. I used to call in there myself now and again. For the biscuits and the bar of chocolate. I remember the first night you brought John. Do you believe me in that? You left John out in the car and the next thing the child started to cry. <laughs> and I said to you, who's crying? Oh, he said, yeah. So you, you brought him in. Why? Go on, yeah. You brought the child in. <laughs> and <laughs> he hadn't to be introduced anymore. He'd, he'd run in before you. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. And how long did you keep, did you keep that shop open for? Well, I couldn't tell you. It was for a few years. Mm. And when you were young, how did you, when you were like a teenager and that, how did you occupy your time? Up. By working here in the bear. Yeah. And would you go up town like for a night out or? Uh, I didn't. Did you go to the cinema? Pictures? I didn't care about the pictures and Harry loved them. But I read and read and read. You're okay. I loved reading. Yeah. And did you go to dances? I wouldn't put one foot past the other. Did you go to a dance? I regret it. So reading was your big hobby? Reading was my main hobby. Mm. And did you have radio at that time? Oh yes. Listen to that, yeah? You were good, you listened to the radio a lot, yeah? Even yes, I take mm. the radio in preference mm. to the telly. Do you remember the war years? Why wouldn't you remember the war years? And what do you remember about them? That you had to be indoors at a certain time. <laughs> All right. Uh, curfew. Curfew. That's right. 
And what time would you have to be in by? Like? Not later, you know, it was later than 10 o'clock. And why was that? I can't fancy that. Yeah, because there was no enemy in the country, was there? Well, there was one time that thought there was one man going. And he was, he, what was it, do you think his name was? What was his name? Give a guess. Hitler? No, no, no. Captain Thunder. Captain Thunder? Thunder. And where was he from? Well, the, the, eventually it turned out he was from Norway. And where does he come from? I mean, how did he get into Westport? I cannot answer you that. I cannot answer that, yeah. And was there rationing that time? Oh, there was. And was it severe? Very strict. And what was rationed? What could you not get? But uh, people between them, if they didn't use such a coupon, they didn't let the coupon go to last. Everything was couponed. What does coupon mean? You got so much... You got, you, you'd be entitled to, say, two pounds a, a flower. Yeah. We just caught them now for it. And you land it in your heart. But in the key area, they didn't make that much and they hand in the coupons. And they said to me, give that note to them from the country. And the country people didn't want the bottle coupons. And they left them in to me for the key people. Okay, so they're doing a kind of a barter thing. It was a barter thing. A barter thing, yeah. Was that legal or illegal or did it make any difference? It was illegal if you were caught. <laughs> You're never caught. What? <laughs> did you ever hear of anybody being caught? No. No. They didn't push it there, did they, no? They didn't push because they thought that was more <laughs> supposed to be <laughs> kitchen people mm. was glad to take stuff with themselves. <laughs> did you ever have a car? No. No. I well, had nice to drive. Yeah. Was there per petrol rationing during the war? I suppose so. No, you don't, didn't know, yeah. Uh, I went behind the wheel of a car going up the Davis Terrace and you know turn my lines of shop is. I do, yeah. And I turned in the car there this way and run down. I was under supervision. I had a, an inspector with me and I just got out of the car and I went, got back home to the pub. And I handed him the keys. I said, that's the last time I go behind a wheel. Why? Because the car shot across the road. <laughs> and I was lucky and uh, lucky that there was no one going. So you're going off a fright, did you? I, I made up my mind in that split minute, never again to go behind the wheel. Never again, yeah.